Welcome to the uh, presentation for the transmission inspection robot, TIE. My name is Jeremy Kress. I'm with American Electric Power Transmission Line Engineering. Um, my part of this is to kind of work through the structure design with EPRI and PLP to get these to bypass it. Uh, we have uh, Mark Masana for EPRI and John Jones at PLP, which will explain kind of more in depth on the robot uh, development there, and then uh, John will go more in depth on the bypass suspension. For the purpose of uh, the TIE, the transmission inspection robot, is to put on a static um, line for a utility company and to get, travel a given distance, as in miles, and inspect the transmission line or the infrastructure, basically automatically at a given test point, so it's not you know, manned by a man-made person. It's it's a robot that goes along at given points and, and inspects. It does LiDAR, a visual camera inspection, uh, microphones for any type of activity on the structures. Uh, it records the GPS of locations as it's inspecting. It gives a weather, sta a weather station and records the weather. And it has a 3D accelerometer. At uh, EPRI Lennox, they actually have a line that they set up to trial the robot and the initial designs that they used in the system in order to have the robot pass structures and so forth, they built some uh, prototype type hardware to hold on to it. So Preform's role was they, uh, EPRI and uh, AEP asked Preform to come in and take a look at the hardware, uh, see if we can do something to make it more conventional, uh, more that's uh, familiar with the utility industry. So that's what Preform's part was. Uh, we looked at uh, the designs, we took some of the technologies that Preform has with form wire and applied it to both the, a suspension design and a dead end design. Currently, uh, AEP is going to put it on the West Lancaster Bixby 138 KV line as of uh, at the end of, well, by summer of May 2014, this will be ready to go. We're currently doing a test line, though, actually. As of uh, November 2012, we're putting a line in, and by the end of December, we're going to be testing induced voltage. That same line will be used to test the robot uh, as in the spring of 2013.